Cancer, this is your weekly tarot card reading and astrology summary for Cancer Sun, Moon, and Rising sign from Born Without Boundaries Tarot. Welcome to my channel. My name is Michelle. Thank you guys for clicking on my video if you're new here. And if you're coming back and returning, God bless you for supporting the channel. Thank you so much. Um, we're going to go over the astrology and we're going to get into these tarot cards that have fallen out in front of me. Um, please remember that this reading is your reading. So I'm going to describe energies to you, but however they impact your life, let them resonate where they resonate. And if nothing resonates at all, try your moon sign reading, try your rising sign reading. I do 12 readings every single week for each zodiac sign. So I know that one of them is going to relate to you. So take a look, check it out. And if you love my videos, remember to subscribe to the channel and ring that notification bell so that you know when I upload your favorite content. If you really love my content, I have a second YouTube channel called Astrology Motivation, where I do daily tarot card readings every workday every weekday um and i do uh astrology forecast and it's just more astrology focused but i do a general tarot card reading over there and it's a live chat so you can join in and talk to me live um yeah if you love talking to me live you can join memberships over here and get a members only live chat with me every single week uh so that's something that you might want to consider remember that there's always an extended reading to this reading so that we can go deeper and get more details those links are all over the place in the description box below i'll pin it to the top of the comments section and i even attach it boot to the end of the reading so it's easy for you to find all right so Today is the full moon, and it is a full moon in Cancer. So let's just reflect on what the heck that means. <laughs> when the moon returns home, it's an emotional time for us because essentially what it means is it is conjuncting, the moon is conjuncting our natal sun. So for the past three days, I would say Thursday, Friday, and Saturday, that moon has been conjuncting your sun. What does that mean when the moon conjuncts the sun? It means your your emotionally and your ego, your emotions, your ego, your inner world and your outer world are fusing together. Now that seems like very powerful energy and it is very powerful energy. It doesn't last a long time because the moon moves quickly. So that can give you sort of this rush of intensity and then also the fallout, you know, kind of feeling like that sugar high type of thing. But it's also very emotional because it is a full moon and it's asking you to release things. What do you need to release? It's really when you're at your fullest and most powerful in manifesting. So really all Cancerians should get a moon calendar and follow the moon phases and see where it is. Full moons are really powerful times for us because wherever the moon is, we're going to be impacted by it. That's why we're so freaking moody all the time. It's why we're also so psychic and we have so much insight into what's going on with everybody else. It's harder to focus on ourselves, but when there's a full moon in Cancer, we can really double down on focusing on who we are and the shit we got to get together or we have to release. And what we need to release when the moon is full in Cancer, what's the opposition? Capricorn, the sun is in Capricorn, but it's the sun this time around is also going to be conjunct Mercury. So a lot of things that we thought we wanted, a lot of things that we thought meant something to us, things that we'd figured out, conversations that we had, all those things now being in opposition to that conjunction, maybe between, especially for you guys, that are at the second two decades of uh, Cancer. So I would say like Cancer, say July 1st through the 21st or maybe July 4th through the 21st, something around there like the, that. those last two parts of the month because the full moon is going to really be that, that central like second decan, uh Cancer and say, what is it, July 1st through the, the 12th or something like that? something something around there there's really powerful release of energy when it comes to tension around what you want to do with your life and who you are in the wide world career changes work life balance struggle and all the pain and suffering associated with those things now it's going to impact all cancerians at one point or the other but at one point or another over the next three days but definitely on the full moon on february 6th today that's definitely second decan 
cancerians it'll affect the third the like later later cancers cancerians who have their birthday later on in the month it'll affect you guys more on saturday and the impact may have started especially with the conjunction to your natal sun on thursday for those born early june oh i'm sorry end of june um but ultimately what does that mean? It's time to release. It's time to purge. It's time to purge who we thought we were and what we thought we wanted. And maybe that means having conversations with ourselves or remembering, remembering what we felt about something. But during this full moon, that's why I say it's particularly going to be powerful for those of you who are um, second decant. So sort of mid, mid, mid cancer, cancer season, right there in the juicy center. Um, there's a square to Chiron um, during this full moon. So the Chiron will then be square to the sun conjuncting Mercury or Mercury conjuncting the sun, but the sun and the full moon. It'll be direct square. What does Chiron do? Chiron teaches us. It is the teacher, but it's a teacher through pain, pain and suffering. So a lot, very emotional, a lot of of this full moon is gonna be asking us to release, to exorcise all the trash bag stuff that doesn't work for us anymore about what we thought we wanted or who we thought we wanted to be. And if we're not ready to release it or let it go, it's going to be more of a struggle for us. Now that could actually mean, especially since Chiron is in Aries, actual physical pain, actual physical suffering. I've been sick all week, you know what I'm saying? So there is an opportunity later on this week when the mood enters Virgo to do some healing and have some harmony there where it's really important because because of that moon in Virgo, there will be a beautiful trine that is then formed between the sun and Mercury and I think Uranus in the sun and Mercury in Capricorn and Uranus in Taurus. So that will be actually a really lovely time for us to finally feel better about ourselves and sort of get ourselves back on track and figure out like what we want to plan and, and what feels good to us. But this is going to be a really challenging energy, powerful energy to get you to see the stuff that you haven't wanted to be looking at, especially with regards to home life balance, work life balance, work life balance, who you want to be in the world, um, and everything associated with that. It could also be stuff with your father, bringing up that stuff with your, with your dad, um, any kind of hurt and pain any kind of challenges that come up or associated with that really confronting it and having to look it in the eye and and sort of challenge it or maybe it, 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 like challenge it in yourself so that you can you can get a hold of it and figure out what to do with it and what you've learned from it and what that makes you certain of and what that makes you sure of I think after this full moon, there's gonna be a lot of clarity so that we can sort of really start to readjust those areas in our life that are have gotten toxic for us. So let's get into the cards. We have Page of Swords here, and then we have Nine of Pentacles. So this could be, I wanna be single. For some of you, absolutely, it could be certainty about, I definitely wanna be single. But I think this could also be an idea of really what I want to do and how I can be really valued at work and where my work is most appreciated and who I should give my time and attention to, where I should be applying. This definitely says apply for a job, apply for work, but do it in those places where you know that you will be happy and appreciated. And that's going to be something that is very, very clear to you. What else is clear to you in general? That you are valuable, that you are worth it. And sometimes, Cancer, all you need is to want it. Ask yourself this question. Take a second. Forget about all the other stuff that usually falls through our head. Like, but would they want it? And would it be good for them? And I know how they think and I know how they feel. And would I fit in with them because I know how they think and know how they feel and I know what their priorities are. And so this isn't really for me because I don't align with that. Stop. All that trash. Psh, put it in the compactor. Get rid of it. Ask yourself one question, Cancer. Do I deserve it? If you can answer that question really, 
do I deserve that opportunity that I want? Do I deserve it? Not, do other people think I deserve it? Will other people agree with me that I deserve it? Will I look right? Will I fit in? No, 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 no. Do I deserve it? Because if deep down inside of most of you is an arrogant little prick, and I know it is, and you gotta let it come out, come out more. You gotta say, yes, I deserve it. And I'm gonna take it just because I deserve it, and I know I deserve it, and I know I want it. And that's all you need. That's all you need. You don't need anything else. You don't need anybody else's permission or any other okay. I deserve it, I want it, that's why I'm gonna get it. And that's it, pretty much it after all that wave of emotion is washed over you. This is the liberation and the reality of, I don't have to keep justifying myself to everybody. I don't have to keep justifying my existence. If I want it, and because I know I'm good at it, this does imply that you're worth it, that you're, you've actually earned it, and that you are actually good enough, so that there was hard work put into what you've done. If you deserve it and you want it, that's all you need. You don't need any of those other motherfuckers to agree. And if they keep disagreeing with you, keep going back. It's going to be harder. It's always harder for Cancerians because we can immediately feel other people's discomfort zone. We can immediately feel that they're not comfortable or maybe I'm making other people cook. Good. Sometimes people got to be uncomfortable. It's not about that. Turn on your pragmatism. Turn off your codependency, right? Turn off that need to always make everybody or feel like you're responsible for everybody in the room feeling comfortable. They're, you're not, you're not, you're not. If they're uncomfortable with you deserving something that you know you deserve, fuck up. And I don't mean literally. Though I will say, it's gonna be a pretty romantic time. This whole week, Venus and Mars are trying. So there could be some upticks and, uh, you know, rumbling when it comes to it. Listen, we're going to be impacted by it. It's happening. It's a big week for us. I would say it could be pretty romantic, but primarily it is us getting our shit together and realizing our valuable or in, we are valuable or in particular, what is valuable to us and that that's all we really need to give ourselves the permission that yes, that's all I really need is to want it, is to want it. And then maybe work harder to deserve it. But if you've already worked hard, there's competition. Ah, there's going to be a lot of naysayers. That's the, that's, the, that's the challenge here. That's your primary challenge. That A lot of other people want this too. Or a lot of other people have something, something to say right? Getting in your way. It could also be not people, but different kind of obstacles or challenges. And there will be. And you can see the moon's movement throughout this week because the moon is moving through uh, the, the portion of the zodiac it, uh, wheel that it's moving through. It's going to hit oppositions with almost uh, with a lot of major other planets. I think um, over the weekend, it'll hit opposition. I think it's with uh, Jupiter, it'll hit opposition with Jupiter and Chiron, then Jupiter and Neptune, then eventually it'll hit opposition with uh, Saturn later on in the week. So there are a lot of bumps in the road. There are a lot of, uh, we, well, we don't want you to have this, but so what? Stop asking permission. That's all I'm trying to say. Stop asking permission. Here we are, that's right, take a different route and show, oh, you're about to go. This is you making a decision that is contrary to a decision that you have made in the past. Is finally be, or finally being ready to take the plunge because you've been thinking about this so long, you've been wanting it for so long, but you've been hesitant because we're Cancerians and we don't like to get out of our safety zone, but this is time that we do. It's like something is gonna kick us in the ass over this full moon to make us get out of our comfort zone and actually take the move, take the plunge, make the move, Move, do go ahead move forward if you are provided with an opportunity this week cancerians do it just freaking do it don't hesitate say yes to that dress baby just say yes do it and this also means for a lot because this is your this is our card right this is cancer it's to saying we're gonna take a turn I don't think it's going to surprise us. I think it's going to surprise other people, but it, it's not going to surprise us because we know damn well that we've been thinking about this for a long time. And now we're finally having the opportunity to present it to us to do it. Bada bing, bada boom, get going. 
Get going. Absolutely. Do it. Say yes. All of this is healthy as long as you deserve it. And you're deserving it has to do how much, how much hard work have you put into it and what real talent do you have doing it, right? Are you really capable? It's not just about confidence, it's about capability. The problem with Cancerians is a lot of times our confidence doesn't match our capability because we are extremely capable. We let everybody shit on our confidence. And Leo has, because Leo's the sun, we're the moon, right? Leo's the sun, they have exactly the opposite tension, which is they always, they're always confident, but sometimes their competence level is just not there. But just how much easier is life for Leos, right? Because confidence tricks fools. And that's why a lot of times Cancerians, we get shot on because we stay in the darkness. We stay in the background. We're the moon and people don't see us and we're okay with that, but we're not really. We're not. We really aren't. So if if you really have the talent and you really have the skill, make sure that your confidence equals your competence because you are competent and you are great at something and you need to let people know. So get going. There's opportunity here. It could come through network or it could come through lovers and friendship or an old friend hooking you up. For some of you, oh, this reading just took a turn. It doesn't mean all this other stuff is true. This could be two different things going on simultaneously this week because it is a big week for us where we're taking charge and making moves. We may even be making moves when it comes to a loved one or somebody to fall in love with. And I did channel that there is romance in the air this week and the Two of Cups supports that. So this could be making a change right? This could be making a change in our romantic situation. This could be deciding to walk away, leave, and move. And once you walk away, leave, and move, you're going to find somebody that is for you. It's like, hey, one change in your life leads to a bunch of others. If you have felt stuck and stagnated, make one change and that will precipitate a lot of others. And then we have maybe moving closer or moving toward a deeper relationship with somebody. This tends to be somebody who is a friend or who friends hooked you up with. Move forward, movement forward. Let it surprise you. We're gonna get deeper into, we also gotta pull a moon card, don't we? Can we have more details, please? Okay, future. Nothing coming up in the past. The tower is here and heartache. Oh, that took a turn. That took a turn. It seems like everything is moving forward and then all of a sudden, heartache, sadness. Why? Oh shit, you better watch yourselves. Something to do with your mother figure? Something to do with a mother figure? I don't know. Something to do with a mother figure? Somebody who was planning on moving or making the move? This could be something intuitive or something that somebody else was manifesting? Holy shit, this is a really strong period. Taking a leap of faith and going in a whole new direction that's very much um, prosperous and beautiful and all these major arcana are coming out. Holy crap. But then we have the tarot and the heart, the, the tower and the, and the three of swords. What does that mean? Bitch. Stop. Stop. Adjustments are required. Why? This is the moon. Adjustments are required, it's saying. That's the only moon card we're getting. Adjustments are required or we're going to fuck something up that's really important to us. Okay. Okay. Let's keep going. Stop. This is important. Let's uh, get the details. What is this tower and what is this heartbreak? It's almost saying that we have the ability. The tower is the hierophant, some sort of relationship or way of making money that we had all of a sudden breaking down and we're having problems with it. Or somebody that we thought we were gonna get together with or a marriage all of a sudden breaking down. Shock, or let me say this, let me say this, there could be a surprise wedding. Because a tower is, is a tower is, it could fuck other people up, but it doesn't mean it's fucking you up. 
So you could shock the shit out of somebody else and that would mean the heartbreak would come from a lot of other people. So he would actually offer the heartbreak to a lot of other people. Um, hold on, because we have the Empress again and the Six of Pentacles, which is a lot of opportunities. A lot of opportunities and opportunities to make money. It's going to break somebody's heart. It may be breaking mama's heart. But it doesn't mean that, okay, so let's, okay, clarify. I just need clarification. This is important, guys. Hang with me. What is this Three of Swords? What is this Three of Swords? Why the heartbreak? What's going on? Because this is coming out in the future. It's going to break somebody's heart like Queen of Cups. Got to do with something happening. Queen of Cups. You were defensive about that. They were defensive about something. Maybe they took action or... Um, Queen of Cups. That's, that's you. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. So it could be breaking your heart. Or something happens to a maternal figure that breaks your heart. Right? It's like maybe they were trying to protect you from it, but you, oh, okay, stop, stop. You ready? You ready? I'm going to give this to you even before we go to the extended because we're going to get deeper into this juiciness in the extended. Those links are down below and you will join me because this shit is important. Y'all about to break your mama's heart. And that's hard for Cancerians. But y'all about to do something that breaks your mama's heart. We're gonna get, now, it's not because you're evil or horrible. It's because you are making a decision to take a step in a direction that scares them, worries them, frustrates them, or they didn't want you to go. But that is the contradiction between Cancer and Capricorn. I gotta leave the nest in order to grow the fuck up and do shit on my own. Even if you're 55, this is a sense of, I gotta leave the comfort zone. I gotta leave behind who somebody else made me and now take the risks that are going to really worry people who love me because I am certain that I deserve what's on the other side of that. I'll see you guys in the extended.